Here are the zebra's family and friends. They like to stay together because unlike the crocodile and the leopard, they are very vulnerable. Like many animals living on the savanna, zebras are very dependent on water and grass and spend a lot of their time migrating to make sure they are always near a source of quality food. They're at their happiest when they have a good place to cool off and have a drink. But they often forget that crocodiles are always vigilantly watching them. Zebras are closely related to horses. They are large, single-hoofed ungulates, built for speed and long-distance migrations. Zebras typically stand about 47 to 55 inches at the shoulder. While the wildebeests are quenching their thirst, this zebra is bonding with the other zebras in her herd. Alliances are valuable in this harsh environment. Because they are regularly thirsty, zebras simply have no choice and constantly have to face lurking dangers, such as crocodiles. This crocodile stays low in the water so that it isn't seen. But this time, it is spotted by the zebras, and the tribe managed to escape with their lives. One of the zebras was just giving birth to a new life. Female zebras, or mares, mature more quickly than their male counterparts. They are able to reproduce at as early as three years old, whilst males are not strong enough to breed until they are around five or six. Like horses, zebra foals are able to stand and walk slightly almost immediately after birth. This is an evolutionary development to make them less vulnerable to predators. Foals are born with brown and white stripes, but these darken as they mature. The foal is born connected to the placenta, which the mother sometimes eats after birth because it is rich in nutrients and salt, which the mother needs after the strains of labor. The placenta can also serve as a nutritious treat for other animals. These tawny eagles are the first to notice this discarded organ, but it's not long before other birds get in on the act. This vulture is larger than the eagles and he always gets first pick when it comes to food. Suddenly, a feeding frenzy erupts as more and more birds try and get a piece of the free lunch on offer. The eagles, who were first on the scene, are forced to watch from the sidelines as the vultures get their fill. close to her mother. These desperate, ruthless vultures are her first experience of life on the African plains. The zebras stay close to the foal instinctively, protecting the newest member of the herd who will eventually understand her role in the hierarchy of the local wildlife. Let's discover what the new foal sees in her first few moments of life. Mother and daughter take their first walk together. The foal's walking abilities so early on in life are quite incredible. The mother takes her daughter to the watering hole. She's in desperate need of a drink after the exhaustive effort of giving birth. No animal has a more distinctive coat than the zebra. No two zebras are exactly alike. There are a number of different theories which attempt to explain the reason for their eye-catching stripy coat. Because of their uniqueness, stripes may help zebras recognize one another. 
The pattern may also make it difficult for predators to identify a single animal from a running herd and distort distance at midday. For an even safer journey, zebras often join large herds of wildebeest. This giant herd of wildebeest is thousands strong, covering the entire plain as far as the horizon. The calving season is well on the way on the savanna. Many animals now have young offspring. The wildebeest are again on the move, looking for the next source of water. Thank <laughs> you.